The next topic is effects of transaction on the balance sheet. Every transaction in accounting has an impact on the balance sheet, which is one of the primary financial statements that summarizes a company's financial position at a given point in time. Let's explore how different types of transactions affect the balance sheet. 1. Asset increase. If a company purchases equipment for $10,000 in cash, the balance sheet will show an increase in the equipment asset account by $10,000 and a decrease in the cash asset account by $10,000. 2. Asset decrease. If a company sells inventory for $5,000 in cash, the balance sheet will reflect a decrease in the inventory asset account by $5,000 and an increase in the cash asset account by $5,000. 3. Liability increase. If a company borrows $20,000 from a bank, the balance sheet will show an increase in the notes payable liability account by $20,000, representing the amount owed to the bank. 4. Liability decrease. If a company repays a loan of $10,000, the balance sheet will reflect a decrease in the notes payable liability account by $10,000 and a decrease in the cash asset account by $10,000. 5. Equity increase. If a company issues new shares for $50,000 in cash, the balance sheet will show an increase in the common stock equity account by $50,000 and an increase in the cash asset account by $50,000. 6. Equity decrease. If a company pays dividends of $5,000 to shareholders, the balance sheet will reflect a decrease in the retained earnings equity account by $5,000 and a decrease in the cash asset account by $5,000. It's important to note that each transaction affects the balance sheet by either increasing or decreasing specific accounts. However, the accounting equation, assets equal sign liabilities plus equity, must always remain in balance. Any transaction that affects one side of the equation must have an equal and opposite effect on the other side to maintain the equilibrium.